Hello everyone and welcome to another mock video. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we've got four different mechs to go through. Each one was built very quickly, they're all quite simple, and none of them use any ball joints, which was a fun experiment. They're all meant to represent just normal civilians that you might see throughout my LEGO world, and we'll go through them one at a time in the order that I built them. Starting with the mech that kicked off this entire project, this blue mech was actually meant to be a bit of a leisure build. I had another whole other project I was working on that just wasn't going well and I wasn't having fun, so I decided to change gears and build something that was fun, and this was the result. The goal was to just use some pieces I didn't normally use, try some new techniques, and like I said before, not use any ball joints. You'll notice right off the bat that the pilot is pretty much just exposed to the elements. She's got her little control console there, which actually has a printed piece on it. But the idea, again, was that this is just a normal civilian, not a combat mech, not a work mech, not really meant for anything other than getting someone from one place to the next. So I figured there's no need for protection, I guess, unless this thing falls over. But hey, convertibles are a thing in the real world, and some people just like the fresh air. Again, as I mentioned, part of the fun of building this was just trying out some new pieces. In fact, I actually used a bunch of Technic back. It Well, not a bunch, but certainly more Technic than I'm used to using for the frame of this mech. And if you actually look really carefully in here, these are paint roller pieces that are holding the arms on. Those arms are not able to bend, unfortunately, but when I tried out this little pistol technique using the gun piece there, it was just too good not to use. And again, this was about having fun, not building a fully posable action figure. That being said, the mech is not completely without articulation. The arms are able to bend forward and back. These pauldrons can kind of they have some flex in them to get out of the way for when you want to bring the arm all the way up. Down on these legs, they use T-bars to move back and forth and clip joints for in and out. And then just a very simple claw down here, that claw exoforce piece that gives the knee its uh, bend and also lets the, the lower leg rotate. So certainly not a brick. The second mech in this batch is built very similarly to the first one. If this is meant to be a convertible, then I guess this is just a regular car. Basically, I wanted to use the same frame, but just try out some different leg designs and also obviously cover up the minifigure a little more, just to see if I could. In order to cover up said minifigure, I went with the old standby, the Nexo Knights cockpit piece, because it's never failed me before, but when you pull that down, you can see the minifigure sitting inside. And when you come around back, you can see just how similar the construction is, but I just added a backpack for a little more coverage because it does look pretty bare bones along the back. I went ahead and used the exact same pauldron design because I liked how it looked. And I also went with another gun for forearm design, which again, doesn't let the elbow bend. But this time I used a different gun that has this clip down here just because it was slightly more interesting. I guess you could imagine this actually being a gun, maybe a little bit of a self-defense weapon, but Really, I just imagine these being civilians, so I don't like to think about it too much. Unlike the rest of the mech, the legs are a completely new design, although they do still use that T-bar connection for the hip. But if you come around to the back, you can see that I used that 1x3 camera-ish looking piece for the uh, lower leg rotation. And the knee hinge is provided by one of those 1x1 one one studs that has a bar connected to it. So after essentially building the same mech twice, I decided it was time to build something new and something red. And this was the result. The idea this time around was to build something a bit more sporty, maybe more sports car inspired, something a bit sleeker and faster looking. And so naturally it ended up being red. I did want to use this green windscreen piece because I love the shape and I love that color. And I was very excited to be able to fit this minifigure in particular in the cockpit. This is a character that has existed in my LEGO world for a little bit now. She shows up in the 13's diner video, getting something out of the vending machine. And I really like how she looks, but unfortunately, both her hairpiece and the fact that she has a hood makes her kind of hard to fit into mechs until now. Now, even though this is meant to be a brand new mech design, I still did take some inspiration from the previous mech, namely the Nexonite cockpit, once again being extremely useful. And the legs do still use that same uh, stud with the bar hinge piece and the camera piece for the lower leg structure. However, rather than use that T-bar piece for the hip joint, this time around I went with something else. Also, the forearms are not built with gun pieces this time. They can actually bend at the elbow, and each one has a little tool mounted underneath, which maybe doesn't make a whole lot of sense with the sport car kind of aesthetic, but whatever, it was a thing to do. But don't worry, if you absolutely needed me to use gun pieces for detail, I still got a few in there. Also, battle droid bodies used as feet. I always knew it could work. Roger, roger. And last and quite frankly least, we have this green guy. 
I'll be honest, at this point I was getting pretty tired and I was a little bit over the concept. But at this point I had already done a blue, a yellow, and a red, so I kind of wanted a green just to round out the quartet. Now a lot of people might look at the green color scheme and think this is meant to be a military type mech, but it's not. Just like the other three, this is a normal civilian and this is kind of meant to be the mech suit equivalent of dude who drives a Hummer. It looks military, it looks real rugged and tough, but it's not. It's just a normal civilian thing. The guy who pilots this mech is a big military weeb, even though he's never actually joined the military, and he's very proud of the fact that his mech looks rough and tumble, at least in his eyes, even though it's always spotless clean and never muddy. He's also got really strong opinions on the movie Barbie. Overall, just a very fun and normal guy to hang out with. The original idea and inspiration for this particular design was to use mostly Technic pieces around the uh, original mech frame. And in fact, the hip articulation, the shoulder articulation, and even some of the forearm articulation is all based around very basic Technic techniques. So that was kind of fun. And keeping with the trend of always taking something from the previous design, more battle droid feet. And there you have it, four different mech designs using zero ball joints just to prove I can. If you like any of these designs and want to build them yourself, the instructions are available over on my PayHip page. The link will be in the description as well as a pinned comment. But until next time, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you really like this video, feel free to subscribe. I've been Mindbender, and I will talk to you later.